everyone, what's up? Welcome back to a week in life of a software developer building and launching her first iOS app. If you guys have been following me along in this series, you've seen a lot of things. You saw episode one where I showed you guys the MVP, the minimal viable product that I built. You've seen episode two where I talk about how I work with the designer to design the app. You've also seen episode three where I talk about my frustrations with Apple. I was so frustrated because like after 40 days, I hadn't heard back from Apple about a major permission. And this was a major permission that my app needed. I felt like I was in purgatory. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there were major decisions I was pausing. You guys know I quit my job, so I'm entering the end of my sabbatical. So what is my next step? I can't even think about that until this app is completed because I don't want to take an unfinished project out of my sabbatical. I don't know if that makes sense. But long story short, it was a very stressful time. It was really, really frustrating to not hear back. Eventually we were able to get approved. Woo! we were able to get approved the reason we were able to get it was because of persistence and actually because of someone in my network i also want to shout out another indie developer bria boba bria who i interviewed in my dev story series she was also able to connect me with someone who worked at apple so i'm really appreciating the power of networking because that was the only way i was able to solve this issue now we can go to the next chapter of developing this app which is getting test users and getting beta users because we have the necessary permissions for this app now we can put the app on test flight which is apple's way of sending people test versions of app this also means that we can submit the app to the app store and go through the app review process which i know will be another hurdle to jump through but yeah i'm so excited that we were finally able to solve this issue because but I'm so happy to be out of this purgatory stage and I'm happy to take you guys along for this week. And this week is gonna be more about getting feedback from beta users. So I hope you enjoy. So we are on our way to see my sister who's going to do beta testing this app. I'm so excited to hear her thoughts on the app. She's like the perfect beta tester because she's chronically online and she's also keeps it real. So she's gonna give me the real critique on it if this app is actually helpful. So I'm excited to have her using it today. So we made it to Brookfield Mall. This is an aside, but y'all, there's so many cuties here. Like what is going on? I feel like everyone here looks so good and put together, but let's get to why we're actually here. So my sister's gonna be trying out my app for the first time. I'm so excited for her to try out the app. And it's also a huge milestone because it's gonna be the first person to try out my app IRL. We're gonna to try to see if she can get through the onboarding and sign in and try to understand how to use the app without any instruction from me because that shows the usability of the app. And I just wanna hear her feedback and critiques that she has for the app. After today, she'll be using the app for several weeks and she'll be giving me feedback throughout, but I'm so excited to be hitting this milestone of getting our first beta user on the app and let's see what she thinks. It's the food I was promised. Where's my pasta and lobster? <laughs> but seriously, I'm here to help, but also here for food. <laughs> so I'd say the UI so far is stunning. I love the motion graphics and I like the color scheme. It's like very like calming. Basically from my first initial view, I'd say there needs to be like prompts that sort of guide you through what each thing means. Oh wow, this is so cute. What's a session? <laughs> I just saved both of my times. So the apps are closed. I use it for TikTok and Instagram because those are the apps that are specifically the hardest for me to stay off of. So I only wanted to have access to them for a certain period of time during the day. And so I really like how this app will allow me to do that. Can I eat now? Hey everyone, so we got the feedback from our beta tester, which is my sister. This is a nepotism, guys. Like, it's unpaid nepotism. She's actually a good first beta tester. When we were building this app, we were thinking about like who is the perfect customer and she is basically the perfect customer for this app. A young woman in their 20s who has a high screen time and actually wants to reduce the screen time. I'm so glad that she's also someone who's very straightforward. She's not gonna just say she likes something, she doesn't like it. But I'm gonna add them to my list of things that we want to get done. 
But for today, the focus is going to be making some of the small changes as she suggested that I also kind of agree with, like some consistency in the UI, like adding a FAQ page and a support email page. I can definitely do that today. And then the rest of the things will just kind of implement it throughout. But I think there's a lot of value in getting someone to try out your app that isn't the person who built it because there are things that are intuitive to you as the person who built it that might not be intuitive to someone who's never seen the app before. That's why like having beta users is a critical part of the testing process for this app. My sister is not gonna be the only beta user. I'm probably gonna reach out to other people to beta test this app before it goes live. But I think this is an amazing first step. She had mostly positive things to say about the app and the things that she wants to change. The features she wants added to the app are things that are possible. So it's a good sign. Let's make these changes and let's get started. Accidentally, this vlog is all about networking because I'm actually meeting up with another creator. She like reached out to me and we're connecting. So that's basically why I'm in Soho today. I'm also gonna be working from a cafe. I used to be someone who believed that you work best by yourself, but I'm changing so quickly. Making connections, meeting people is essential because there's only so far you can do things by yourself. You have to really try to meet with others, learn from others. With any networking meeting, at medium case, you make a connection. At best case, you meet a friend. There is like, no losing with meeting people. So that's what I'm doing. lot of fun. It was cool to meet another creator. I always get a lot of inspiration from meeting other creators. This is your sign to network and meet people. So now let's go grocery shopping because I want to make this recipe today. I don't have all the ingredients at home so I'm gonna go grocery shopping right now and see what we can get. back home let's make some dinner this is the recipe i'm using like it's one of my favorite recipes easy quick i love this recipe so much my mom got me this little apron so cute <laughs> Result. It's so beautiful. This is one of my the most aesthetic recipes. It's pretty healthy. Pearl couscous, chicken thighs, carrots, onions. Like, tell me I didn't eat with this one. Look at how cute my final plate is. I can't tilt the camera so you can see it, but it looks so cute. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here. We got value from this random few days in my life building my first iOS app. It was kind of early to get a beta tester, like the app isn't on the app store. Like there is just was an early period of time to get the beta tester. But for me, it was valuable because we still have a few more weeks until we officially launch. The big takeaway from getting my sister to use the app was that things that seemed intuitive to me were not really as intuitive as I thought, which is actually, I feel like not a good problem because if we push it to the app store as is then like people will be trying to use the app they might not understand how everything works together her big takeaway was like have some sort of tutorial in the app to show users all the features and kind of like how everything comes together we could even do that you know in the onboarding flow when users are learning about the app for the first time we can make maybe have a few more screens that show users okay this is how you create a routine 
this is how you use the one-off ad blocking feature another thing i noticed with her was that some of the ui elements because the way it's programmed it looked a little bit more distorted on her phone because her screen is bigger than my screen so that's a small change i can fix honestly it was cool to have someone use something that i've been working on for so long and i feel like we're getting to a point where we're very close to launching I don't want to jinx it, but we can launch within the next few weeks. Just need to do these three core things. Y'all, this is now week five of trying to have the moments in the design. So let's finally get that to 100%. I would say we're at 80, 90%. Implement the designs, fix all the bugs that she found that I already know exist in the project. We need to do some testing. And finally, then we can launch. As always, before I exit out this video, if you're interested in the screen time app, make sure to check out the link in the description box. You can leave your email, but I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.